Okay, these are my Repuse tools, and these are all made from tool steel that I would have made as a student. Um, they are done, they are, they are made using traditional smithing, blacksmithing really, uh, technique because they would have been uh, heated up to a straw to a very high temperature and I would have forged the top of them. Um, and see these shapes, you see they've all got different shapes on them. There's a lovely one there as well. That would have been heated up and while it was red hot, I would have hammered it and forged the top of it. Um, and um, and it hasn't changed in 30 years? No, well. those tools are really brilliant. Um, I made those as a student and they're still perfect. Um, would most people working with metal and blacksmithers, would they blacksmiths, would they uh, make their own tools like this or would they buy them? Uh, a, a lot of people certainly are, uh, would make their own. Um, but that's if they're lucky enough to have somebody to show them. Um, I was very lucky. I've always had people around showing me how to, how to make and do and make a lot of things and adapt, adapt a lot of tools for my, my use. And that's why it's really, really important to to continue that tradition um, with like a blacksmithing school or, and, you know, that people learn how to, that they don't have to go and buy every tool, that they can make it. And, and you, you can really just make about anything you need.